Silver has been running as of lately. It's sort of lagged gold here. We saw gold have its big move and silver, you know, was in the $13 range, you know, from it's low in 2016 to its high. It's up like 25% in just a matter of months. I mean, is this starting to confirm a bullish trajectory here? I would have to say yes. But what I want people to focus more so on is the dollar. Look at what's happening to the dollar. Um, it's continually being pressured. It's under pressure now. And that is not going to stop, in, in my opinion. And so this bodes very well for, um, for these assets, which are units of wealth. They're not units of debt here. I think people are starting to get it. But what we're going to see here, um, and I think this could be soon, uh, within pro maybe even the next few weeks, uh, honestly, um, we're starting to see the market here um, fall under some pressure. Just just today, for example, um, the the technicals supporting the market literally flipped on a dime. On a dime, we had an incredible run up um, for the past month and a half or so with regard to equities, and, and now we're starting to see these um, technicals deteriorate. We saw a, a run to safety, quote unquote, which is debt, which is why anyone on earth would think that the bond market is somewhere to be. <laughs> you gotta be nuts. Right. Um, but again, I think this is going to continue um, the strength in gold and silver here. And I also believe that the powers that be, quote unquote, are going to attempt uh, to uh, suppress this. Uh, we understand that um, just today, or was it last night, I believe, uh, someone or some entity dumped uh, $2 billion worth of paper contracts onto the market using a market order. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, look, when you see this kind of stuff, you know it cannot be real. Anybody who understands trading, even at its most basic level, knows this one thing. You never sell anything or buy anything for that matter with a market order when you when you issue a market order that means you're willing to take anything for your asset i mean you got to be crazy so when you see this when you see market orders dumped like that you know this is fake it's not real someone is deliberately trying to pressure it lower uh i mean for example would you offer your car for sale and just you know say okay you know give me whatever you want for it Absolutely of course not, not. This is what they're doing. So when you see this stuff, it actually brings a smile to my face, I'll be honest with you, because this is just frank manipulation that cannot stand. It will not continue. Now, keep this in mind. We have existed, well, since the, the 2008 event in an, in an environment of risk being deliberately fostered by the Federal Reserve who continues to suppress interest rates. So you got nowhere else to go but in the market. So they, they, they reinflated a, a stock market bubble on the back of a debt mega bubble. So right now, again, we're still in this risk on environment where this may change relatively soon uh, to a risk off environment. And when, we, when this happens, and it will, you've seen this over and over and over and over again in history, we're going to get precious metals skyrocket, mm. period. That's the way it's going to play out here, uh, and I cannot imagine another way. Greg, last year you called the top, you know, basically, you know, right on the, on the spot, and it has held up all the way until now. And I know you did a video recently. You were talking about your concerns about the market actually going higher and uh, making new highs. So I want to get your latest thoughts on this. Exactly. Um, yes, that's true. Uh, last May, almost to the day, it was a pretty amazing call, I have to say. It has held this entire time. I did say um, that I believe that that, uh, that top was in danger. However, I'm sitting here looking at charts today, which I always do. Uh, I go blind looking at charts here and trying to, and indicators and a whole bunch of things. And it looks to me, uh, the way things have changed today, I mean, we saw a dramatic, and I can't stress this enough, a deterioration of technicals. Um, I literally watched it before my eyes and I'm going, wow, what is going on here? Um, so what that tells me, again, watching the bond yields today too, that's what really started this. When we saw the bond yields move today, the 10-year, 
I think, 10 basis points in a matter of uh, an hour or so. I was like, what happened? What's going on here? I always look at that. It's so important to understand the bond market because it's the largest aspect of the market, the largest part of it. And all of a sudden, the tech moves started deteriorating. I'm like, whoa, okay, something's going on here. The market's trying to tell us something. So this, what we had today, we had a triple digit sell off in the Dow. Um, this may be part of something bigger, especially if I look at the, the longer term charts. If I, and I was looking at that just prior to this, uh, our interview here, um, looking at the weekly chart uh, of the S&P 500, looks pretty ugly right here, right here and right now. So there also could be a, a seasonality that's um, effect that's playing into this. You know, the selling may go away. We're getting there. So this market uh, may be ready to take a hit. Um, and I'm actually short this market now. I bought puts on SPY, uh, specifically uh, August 210 puts. It's available on my website. And you can see my positions. I have them right there. Um, and uh, let's, let's uh, see how it unfolds. I think it's going to be interesting. Greg, we got the velocity of money at ultra lows here, yeah. and mm -hmm. we, we're talking about inflation. We're talking about how that's going to impact the dollar, the stock market. Mm -hmm. You know, So I want to ask you, could we see the markets go into hyperdrive and hit unthinkable highs in nominal terms like mm -hmm. stocks have seen in inflated or hyperinflated environments, mm -hmm. such as Germany, where the stock market went from like a thousand to like a hundred billion marks in an inflate in an inflated environment and it's worth noting that even in US dollar terms the market still went up and that kind of goes to show that people are just trying to get their money out of the currency and mm -hmm. throwing it in the market so I'm wondering as a safe haven I know this is gonna sound kind of counterintuitive are people gonna go into the stock market for the uh, cash diversification no this is what how i see this scenario unfolding here it's very very simple to understand really simple and i'll try to lay this out let's just take today as an example uh today we saw the u.s 10-year yield jump i believe to the high of this year of 1.87 1.89 uh, or something around like that so when you so the when you see this kind of action, this safety play uh, from nervous investors and traders pushing cash into the bond market, well, that reprices everything. So just think of it in these terms. We've existed in an environment where interest rates have been artificially suppressed that has fostered a stock market bubble, okay? Because investors and traders have nowhere else to go. It's deliberately created risk on environment. Now, when people see, when this starts to unfold here into a risk off environment, you're going to see a run for the hills. In other words, you're going to see bond yields spike, which is going to put a huge amount of pressure on equities. Now, the Federal Reserve cannot go out there and buy every bond uh, to continually suppress interest rates. The free market will overpower any entities. Uh, uh, attempt over time to rig it and that is exactly what's going on the interest rates are being rigged the bond market is rigged everything is being distorted because of that there's no price discovery mechanism here whatsoever again equities are in a bubble um, so we're going to see bond yield spike which is going to put have the opposite of what we're seeing now when bond yields spike here, we're going to see pressure on the market. Now, I'm not saying it's, it may not, it may still go a little higher here because of this inflationary effect you're talking about. But over time, when people start to realize that this whole thing is just uh, some type of a twisted game in, in many ways to, to foster and uh, the stock market higher, because this is where people need, need to look by the establishment. In other words, people don't care about the economy. If they believe that the stock market is going higher, they think the, the economy is doing well. Mm -hmm. So the scenario is very simple. Cash never goes to money heaven, despite what many people might say. It simply goes from one place to another. So we're going to see a flood of cash moving into, quote unquote, safety, which is a, the bond market, which is obviously not a safe haven because the debt can never be paid back. We know that. So with, when the bond yields spike, that's going to put pressure on equities again, if it creates that risk off. And you're going to see a huge amount of cash, again, move into 
um, the precious metals. Again, it's the environment. It's, we're going from a risk on environment to a risk off environment, to put it in the most simple terms. So do you anticipate the velocity of money staying at ultra low levels in, in a collapse environment? I mean, are we going to see deflation first? I think we're going to see, this is what I've been worried about, honestly. And in fact, I think you're referring to a video I just did here. I believe, again, and just going back to your point, we are at a near four decade low with regard to the velocity of money. So what people need to understand, and again, it's most basic, um, I guess, level, is we have all of these printed bills or digital bills that are existing, and they're, they, they're just there. They have not made their way over to the consumer side of the monetary base because of the money velocity. Now, at one particular point, and I don't know what the trigger is going to be or how it's going to play out, we're going to have a scenario where all of these extra printed bills are going to chase the same amount of goods. And you do not have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what that means. So we could see, again, the velocity of money start to pick up as people are looking to dump dollars, okay, or looking to acquire assets. So this is, you know, I don't know exactly how it's going to unfold. It's yet to be seen. But I can't imagine a scenario, and I, I don't think we've ever seen one in history, where eventually all of these extra printed bills or whatever you want to call them, these fiat pieces of paper, go chasing the same amount of goods. Mm -hmm. And that is going to create a very dangerous environment. Yeah. No, that, that's very true. Uh, but I guess my question is, is a lot of this money is sitting on banks' balance sheets. And how do you yeah. suppose that that's going to come off banks' balance sheets and enter the economy to cause inflation? You know, I know you talked about yeah. people consuming and people spending. Yeah. But what about yeah. the money that's on the banks' balance sheets? Well, you know, what we're going to speaking on that, what people need to understand is a lot of these bills don't even exist here in the United States. They're outside the country. And I believe, again, this is the scenario that, that people are not going to want to hold dollars uh, all around the world. And they're going to start dumping these things. And you're going to start to see cash move at that particular point. Mm -hmm. Where, wherever the cash may be sitting, on ba banks, balance sheets, or whatever it might be, there's going to be a crisis here in the banking system. It's just a matter of when it hits and how it hits. Now, all of this you know, remains to be seen. All we have to know here is we're in existing in an environment of make-believe. And again, the the world central banks, they are, they are becoming so desperate here. What have they done? They've turned the entire financial system upside down. We have negative interest rates in parts of the world here. Um, so there's some, something, and I'm not sure what it is, is going to occur to uh to start this cash moving in one in the direction again of the consumer side of the monetary base whether it's the, you know, rushing back here to the united states because they're being dumped by other countries around the world or something we're already hearing saudi arabia threatening to dump u.s debt i mean so there is some event that that's going to occur um that is going to trigger that but and it's more at its core here. What people need to understand, in fact, I did a video about this today. Um, it won't be out until tomorrow unless you go to my website, treatisechoice.net. All my new videos are being posted directly to my site. This video that I did today will be out tomorrow where I actually speak about what, what is actually occurring. I'm losing my train of thought just a minute here. Um, all of this, this collapse that everyone keeps talking about, what is it? What is the collapse that everyone is talking about? Well, just very simply, it is simply the market which is going to dictate fair value. All of this is going to simply correct to a fair value. So that's what the collapse is. The collapse is this distorted market, every aspect of it, whether it's the currency market like we're talking about, or the debt market like we're talking about, or the stock market and, and precious metals. All of this has been twisted and distorted because of the actions of world central banks. Now, this will correct to fair value. It is an absolute certainty that this will happen. Because, and how do we know this? Because we've been here before, if you look at every single economic and financial bubble in history, they all have one thing in common, that is they burst. So 
This environment of the make-believe is simply going to correct to fair value. So that's going to feel like a collapse, but all it's doing is correcting to fair value. So I don't think anyone's putting it in that perspective, anyone besides me, honestly, that the collapse is simply the market establishing a fair value, which is going to happen. It is a mathematical certainty. When? I'm not sure. We're start seeing this now. Um, because again, the environment we're in, the multiples in this market cannot be justified. They cannot be justified. We have uh, an earnings season that is absolutely pathetic. Uh, and the only reason why stocks are unfolding precipitously right now is because the dollar is getting weaker. So th th that plays into this as well. But all of this simply cannot be sustained. And it will correct the fair value. So, uh, Greg, going back to precious metals here, we talked about silver and you brought up the manipulation, the contracts that are being you know, created here. Are you concerned about the levels and, and the move that we've seen here in precious metals? And do you think that they're going to hold up? Uh, is, are these further confirmations that we're going higher from here? The momentum is in the right direction? Or is the manipulation going to take it over and likely bring it back down? Well, I think they're going to try like they did today. Uh, by dumping dumping contracts onto the paper contracts onto the market using market orders it's unbelievable uh, so again i laugh when i see this kind of stuff and w will they are they going to try to do this i absolutely believe they are going to but again just look at this as opportunity because we know this cannot be sustained they can do whatever they want to do they can twist it they can manipulate it they can do anything they want at one particular point it is the free market that will determine fair value mm. and uh, unfortunately um, no one is going to be punished for this. No one is going to go to jail for this. Um, and, and no, no criminal charges will be brought up against any bank on earth. All they'll do is, is pay a fine. We understand what happened with Deutsche Bank admitting manipulation here and there with regard to the, the precious metals. They're going to apparently uh, rat out other banks as well. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all. Uh, it's kind of like how Hillary Clinton will never be indicted. You know, they can't. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, it's it's the it's the system the system is absolutely rigged but that does not mean and I, I i can't stress this enough that the free market will will do its job beyond any doubt and there is the collapse right there it's just the market establishing fair value you know the system is dependent on rising prices the stock market going up mm -hmm. assets going up and that way they receive more taxes and it, you know the the investments that are being made, all the speculation that is out there, it's all dependent on rising prices. This environment. So I'm wondering, how much have the powers that be benefited from the stock market going back? The Dow now over eighteen thousand, and you know the S and P uh, over two thousand. Well, mm -hmm. you know how how much is the system benefiting from the rising market, in your opinion? <laughs> well, this is what they always do, and I've said this over and over again, the, the, the Federal Reserve is a serial bubble blower and burster. They do this on purpose. It's, it's, a, it's a way to steal wealth from the middle class, who is the most invested uh, with, with regards to like 401ks and retirement plans. They blow up these bubbles, then everyone does really well, and then right at the top, when no one really expects it, Bam, they allow the bubble to burst and there's the wealth transfer mm. as the market simply uh, finds fair value. So this is how they cover themselves. They say, oh, this is just normal action of the market. It's not normal action of the market. We cannot have normal action of the market in an environment where the debt, the debt market, which is the largest of them all, is being manipulated. Everyone knows this is true. So anyone who can sit here on CNBC, Bloomberg, pick pick a channel on the mainstream that says, oh, stocks are fair value. How can you say that when the debt market is, is being deliberately suppressed and manipulated? We know this for a fact. It's just, it's unbelievable to me. The the powers that be, the world's central banks, will not allow the free market to determine the fair value for debt. So if the market is not being allowed to determine the fair value for debt, nothing is real. 
I, I can't stress this enough. We're in we're in economic and financial fantasy land, period. And it is incredible what they have manifested and allowed to create. Uh, and most people simply walk around and have no idea about any of this uh, and how this is going to unfold just like last time. Um, and But this is going to be worse by, by magnitudes um, compared to 2008. Greg, why, why do politicians even talk about raising taxes when they can just get more taxes through the hidden tax of inflation? Just pedal to the metal on inflation instead of pandering to, I don't know, the middle class or the, the poor. I, I, don't, I don't even know what you want to call it. And talking about raising taxes on the rich or just raising taxes in general. Why not just put the pedal to the metal on inflation? Why do they bother? You know what? My, they can't tell. Look, our politicians, all of them from the prison on down here, um, they cannot and will not ever level with the people. I am more than certain that there are um, many in in politics that uh, understand exactly what we're talking about here and are direct players in this. Um, and all they're concerned about right now, uh, look, Here's the issue. We're in a critical mass with no way out. There is no way out of preventing this market from determining fair value. So with that said, we know that there's no way out of a quote unquote collapse. And the collapse is simply the market establishing fair value. Mm -hmm. Now, these politicians are pretty smart people. They already are in the right places. They know where to put their cash. They know where to put their assets. They don't care at all about about the general population because the middle class is being systematically destroyed. It has been going on for quite a while. And I can promise you that the end game here um, is an elimination of the middle class, which will not exist anymore when this goes down. Now, when that happens, when when this wealth transfer effect happens again, as the market establishes fair value, the middle class is going to be left literally desperate and destitute, looking for help. And that's when the government's going to step in. The government's going to say, okay, we have a solution here, so they can control them. That's what this is all about. Anyone who doesn't see that really is deluded. In my opinion, it's the, the, the writing is on the wall. It's everywhere. And um, I sadly can say here and, and with a high degree of probability and say the middle class will not exist in several years. Mm, wow. Well, I, it's happening to a step by step process. Little by little, we're seeing this happen over time. But I, I think in that collapse scenario, that revaluing uh assets to fair market value there's going to be a, a massive moment in history which they can take over and and do a lot of changes and and be the solutions quote unquote to a lot of problems and i think they'll gain a lot of ground in their agenda at that moment so uh greg Absolutely. any last anyone who does yeah just just real quick, anyone who doesn't believe that what you just said is true is uh, really missing missing the big picture here. And I can promise you this, there is no, no doubt in my mind that they already have uh, a solution figured out. Um, they already have this all planned out. Look, I don't care what people want to believe or think, there is no way to stop this market from establishing fair value, which is the quote unquote collapse. No way to stop. Mm. So with that said, people need to understand what they need to do. Uh, yeah, just the last few words, uh, you know, I hope people are uh, checking out my site, traderschoice.net. I made a lot of changes there. I'm posting all my new videos directly to my website. I have a nice chat room there now. I want people to get involved uh, and start talking.